Hey guys, uh, this is Steve Gacknaris. I'm back for part two of my uh, demonstration video using the Social Engineering Toolkit or otherwise known as the SET tool. For this video, I'm actually going to show you how to um, use SET to create a reverse TCP shell. Um, we're going to gain access to the victim's machine and um, from there, uh, use our administrative privileges to uh, create uh, another admin account. Uh, we'll also show you how you can uh, delete a user account. Um, in the real world, this would actually be pretty noisy um, on the network. So um, this is really just to show you a demo of the functionality, what it's possible to do. But in a real world scenario, um, we would do things a little bit differently. So with that being said, um, I also want to uh, preface that in this um, demo, we're going to create basically a Trojan horse uh, payload. Um, and because of that, um, in Windows 10, Windows 10 has great security. So we actually need to turn off Windows Defender uh, antivirus so that it actually lets us download the payload to the machine and run it. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So on my attacker VM running the latest Kali, as I mentioned before, we're going to go ahead and uh, launch the SET tool via the SET toolkit command. We're going to go ahead again and select one social engineering attack and then create a, a payload and a listener via option four. Um, go ahead and expand this out so you guys can read this a little bit better. So in this uh, menu we actually have a bunch of different interpreter options create uh, different reverse tcp shells um, you can do uh, vnc stuff uh, really cool stuff here or you can actually create and run your own executable for the uh, purposes of this video i'm going to go ahead and choose uh, option number one windows shell reverse tcp so the first thing that it's going to ask you is what IP address do you want to use for the listener? That is going to be the IP address of your uh, attacker VM. So let's go ahead and do an if config and get the IP. Our IP is 192.168.1.31. Let's go ahead and put that in. Um, we're gonna also need a port. So for this, you could put any port that you like. I'm gonna go ahead and choose 8080. And it is going to basically create an executable um, that points that server into that port. So this is done. It tells you that it created that uh, executable in this location. Yes, we want to go ahead and start the payload and uh, the listener. Um, now, in order to get that uh, executable to the victim machine, we need to go ahead and um, download that executable on the victim machine. So for that, we're gonna go ahead and cr uh, create an Apache server on the uh, attacker uh, VM real quick and transfer that uh, executable to the victims. Uh, to do that, we're going to move the payload from this location to var www.html. Uh, and we're also gonna rename it to uh, setup.exe so it's a little bit more obfuscated of what it actually is in a real world setup.exe is a very common um, name of a file for installers so we want it to blend in with uh, the normal uh, user's workstation so we're going to move file.exe to setup.exe Next, we're going to start the Apache server. Oops, type. Next, we're going to go to the victim machine and go ahead and download that payload. It's going to go ahead and download it. Now let's go ahead and run it. Windows 10 security again is pretty good, so it. Windows smart screen is actually going to uh, warn us about that the file is not trusted and or unrecognized. So we're gonna go ahead and run it anyways. Click yes. Now as you can see back on our uh, Kali window, it has 
successful and it has opened a session as we instructed it on this IP and port. And so now let's go ahead and gain access to the victim VM. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter. We're gonna see what sessions are on the machine. Oops, just added an extra S there. So it tells us that there's an active session right now with ID one. So let's go ahead and connect to that. Sessions um, dash I, which is interactive. It's gonna go ahead and connect to the machine via the first show, voila, we're in the machine. Who am I? Basic DOS command. So I am Steven Gagneris. Fantastic. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a, a administrative user account. Actually, let's just create a normal user account. Net user. Let's do help so we can make sure that we get the syntax right. Okay. So net user. The username, let's just say Bob with the password of Bob. And we're going to go ahead and add. Great. Um, we can also do the same thing to delete a user account so you can actually see how this would be very helpful um, in a security test to basically prove that you can get into someone's network and back create backdoor accounts or you could create chaos on the machine and do a wide variety of things because basically we have administrative access right now, right? So delete. Oops, forgot to put in the username. Voila. And that's it, folks. That's how you create a verse TCP shell using the SET toolkit and gaining administrative access into a machine. Thanks, guys.